So hey guys, this is Action and finally today I'm going to build my personal rig. Uh, ito na yung uh, pinakahihintay nyo. Uh, sorry guys, medyo natagalan. Uh, this is my Ryzen PC build uh, with a budget of 65,000 pesos. So yung purpose ng build ito is gagamitin ko for gaming, uh, video editing, and uh, video rendering. So mainly for content creation. Uh, Siyempre maglalaro rin ako mga uh, AAA games dito and yung uh, mga online games then uh, Dota 2 CSGO and yung PUBG guys. Bumili na ako. And so my old PC is medyo matagal na siya. I'm running a AMD APU na A10 uh, 5800K. Uh, yung Trinity na FM2 socket. So here's a reason kung bakit ako mag upgrade ng system unit. PC na nagre-render na ako doon sa RGB build. This is a uh, 30 minute uh, video. Uh, nirender ko siya ng uh, uh, 60 frames per second na 1080p. So, it's already 3 a.m. So, yan. 4 minutes na guys. 1% pa rin. <laughs> specs is Trinity A10 800 na Trinity. It's a 6 year old na PC guys. So malapit ko na siya palitan. Actually, uh, I'm going to ano, yung sa Ryzen build. Yan. So elapsed time is approximately 2 hours. And pataas pa na nata ng pataas. <laughs> Nakita ko lang guys kung bakit ako mag upgrade na ng Ryzen to Ryzen. Yung uh, 6 cores and 12 threads na CPU. Um, Good morning guys. It's... August 22, uh, 8.59, so 9 na guys. And still, hindi pa tapos. <laughs> 5 hours na yung ano guys. Uh, rendering. So yung PC ko na yan guys is nasa 6 years na. So, alam nyo na kung gaano kabagal yung PC ko. Uh, it renders 5 hours. Uh, nakatulog na ako noon na hindi pa rin tapos. So now ipapakita ko sa inyo yung uh, parts uh, ng new system build. Uh, Isa-isa yun natin. Sasabihin ko din yung reason kung bakit ko napili yung uh, mga components. And then ipapakita ko sa inyo yung parts assembly, uh, yung finish build. And I will do a separate video for a benchmark. Ihiwalay ko na yung video kasi medyo hahaba yun. Alright, so let's check out the parts list. For the processor, ang napili ko is yung AMD Ryzen 5 uh, 1600. Uh, this is a 6 CPU cores and 12 number of threads. Running at 3.2 GHz base clock and up to 3.6 GHz na boost clock. It features a 65W na TDP with 3 MB of L2 cache and 16 MB of L3. Uh, isa pang reason kung bakit ko napili itong uh, CPU to, it comes with a Raid Spire cooler uh, with 92mm na fan. So, hindi na akong gagasa sa CPU cooler dito guys. Yung uh, CPU cooler nito can handle temps ng CPU uh, if you're not doing a heavy overclocking. So, hey action, gusto ko mag-overclock. Uh, gusto ko i-push sa limit yung uh, CPU ko. Ano bang aftermarket CPU cooler na masasuggest mo? Uh, for the budget friendly, I highly recommend yung Cooler Master Hyper 212. And pag meron kayong budget, pwede rin kayo mag-all-in-one liquid cooling. I like yung Cooler Master Master Liquid Pro 240 and yung uh, 280 na Radiator. So the best part of the Ryzen 5 uh, 1600, pwede nyong i-overclock uh, right out of the box. So it only costs 11,000 guys. Yung uh, kung di nyo pa napapanood yung uh, Show My Ryzen na video ko na vlog, nag-canvas ako sa Gilmore noon. First choice ko talaga is Ryzen 1700. Pero wala na akong budget. Tapos second choice ko is 1600X. Pero nung nakita ko yung presyo ni 1600, tapos may CPU cooler na, then yun na lang napili ko. Si 1600X kasi, uh, wala pa siyang uh, CPU cooler. So, mapapagastos ka pa sa aftermarket na CPU cooler. So, one thing to consider, if bibili kayo ng CPU, check nyo yung number of threads. Because the more threads na meron yung CPU, mas mapapabilis yung editing nyo and rendering. Next for the motherboard, ang pili ko is yung uh, Tomahawk B350 Gaming Motherboard from MSI. In my opinion guys, this is one of the best looking uh, B350 Gaming Motherboard sa market. I'm a big fan of this uh, gaming motherboard, especially yung uh, design niya. So sa motherboard na to, uh, nagsusupport siya ng AMD Ryzen processors and 7th generation A-series and Athlon processors. Meron siyang uh, 4 DIMM slots, uh, supported siya ng DDR4 na 3200 speed na memory. Also, if you want to upgrade in the future, uh, supported din siya hanggang 64 uh, gig gigabyte na memory. Uh, mayroon din siyang M.2 NVMe slot. Uh, you can plug directly uh, to the motherboard. You can also sync yung RGB fans, uh, yung LED strip, 
and uh, pwede siyang uh, makasumize uh, using the utility software ng MSI, yung Mystic Light. Unfortunately guys, uh, hindi siya RGB uh, naka-install dun sa mga board. Red LED lang siya. So fortunately, a perfect match for my red and black team. So more features, uh, VR ready na siya. Uh, may 7.1 high definition audio, AMD Crossfire, may dalawang USB 2.0 ports, may apat na USB 3.1 ports. Isa dun is Gen 1 uh, USB Type-C, uh, yung reversible. And lastly, ang Malibur na to, it offers overclocking support. Uh, you can overclock all the Ryzen CPUs with the B350 uh, chipset na Malibur. So, ang kinaganda pa dito guys, it's a budget-friendly uh, tapos hindi nyo na kailangan magpalit ng Malibur if mag-upgrade kayo ng mas mataas na CPU like the Ryzen 7. And then for the graphics card, i-prepare natin yung Ryzen 5 1600 with the MSI GTX 1060 Gaming X with 6GB of VRAM. It has a nice red and black color combination, uh, perfect for my team na meron din siyang solid metal backplate with the dragon logo. So, ang purpose ng guys is para malinis tingnan yung uh, likod ng uh, GPU. Para hindi nyo na makita yung uh, PCB niya. And uh, purpose din yun is uh, para may strengthen din yung structure ng GPU. So, for the rear I.O., it has a single DVI and HDMI plus a 3 display ports. So, it does have a 8-pin PCIe connector on this side. So, taking a closer look in the front of the card, you will see a dual fan. It features a twin Prozer 6 thermal design. So, ang tawag ni MSI dito is Torx 2.0. So, second generation na yun. So, mas in-improve pa nila. So, it features a two types of fan blades working together to keep your GPU cool and quiet. So, meron din siyang feature na zero frozer technology. When the GPU reaches a 16 degrees, the fan will spin. Tapos, below 60 degrees, the fan will stop. So, magtataka kayo guys, pagka hindi umikot, na ano yung uh, PC nyo, baka isipin nyo sira yun. So, hindi yung sira. Yun yung feature ng MSI na uh, zero frozer technology. So, more features ng uh, GPU na to. Meron siyang 8mm na thick copper heat pipes. Tapos, a uh, military class 4 components for overclocking stability. Uh, meron din siyang uh, MSI gaming app. Allows you to quickly switch between overclocking, gaming, and silent modes. Tapos na yung uh, LED illumination niya is naka-customize yun. Yung uh, MSI Dragon logo. RGB yan guys, pero hindi tayo RGB. <laughs> Red team lang tayo ngayon. So, yan. So, three reasons why I picked this card. Meron siyang 6GB of VRAM. So, sa lahat ng AAA games, uh, wala akong magiging problema dito. Uh, this card is designed for 1080p in ultra settings. And some games can run at a 1440p resolution. So, second, uh, this card has a 1280 CUDA cores so it means it can uh, make my video editing and rendering time faster. So more CUDA cores, the better. And last you guys is a red and black color combination. Perfect for my uh, color of choice, uh, yung red and black na team. For the storage, ang napili ko is yung ADATA XPG 256GB SX8000 in M.2 NVMe form factor. For super fast read and write as speed, I highly recommend investing in solid state drive. So basically, uh, mas mapapablish yung booting times and program launching ng mga games and software. Uh, mainly dito ko i-install yung mga games and software na lagi kong gagamitin. Yung model na to, yung XPG SX8000 uh, from ADATA, uh, delivers a superior random read and write performance and multitasking capability it uses a PCIe Gen 3 uh, times 4 interface so it's very easy to install uh, all you need is a motherboard na may M.2 na NVMe slot support so plug in and secure it with a screw uh, no need na mga SATA cables para malesen din yung messy cable inside ng case niya and ang napili ko yung uh, Western Digital uh, 2 terabyte hard drive for my mass storage for the memory ang napili ko is yung ADATA XPG uh, Z1 uh, 16 gigabyte uh, DDR4 for a 3000 frequency so it comes with a really nice metallic red heat spreaders to match ng uh, color team ng build so before buying a memory guys mayroon kasing compatibility issue yung sa Ryzen processors tip ko guys uh, bago kayo bumili is uh, punta kayo sa motherboard uh, manufacturers website kasi nandun yung list ng RAM na tinatest nila sa motherboard na yun so may motherboard is MSI uh, go to msi.com search yung uh, B350 Tomahawk so yun yung uh, gamit na motherboard ko so makita nyo dun yung list ng compatible na memory na tinatest nila so yung RAM na napili 
ko yung Adita XPG Z1. Uh, this is a Ryzen certified. Uh, wala akong magiging problema dito. So this build will be powered by a master watt 550 watts na power supply from Cooler Master. So ito yung uh, reason kung bakit ko nang pilihin yung uh, power supply nito. So meron siyang efficiency uh, rating na bronze uh, certified na power supply. Tapos uh, features a semi fanless and also this is a semi modular uh, sleep cable na siya with lock uh, cabling uh, which makes the cable uh, looks neat and stealthy uh, sa loob ng case. I highly suggest guys uh, pag uh, mag-invest kayo sa power supply uh, kunin nyo na yung semi modular. Hindi na kayo mahirapan pag uh, magki-cable management kayo. So ang napili ko for the case uh, with the red and black ay ang Cooler Master Master Box 5 MSI Dragon Edition. Uh, Mag-refit dun sa team ng build. So this case features a dark mirror front panel with MSI Dragon logo on it. And a, a clear window side panel uh, with MSI logo din. Uh, tinanta din ng MSI logo. And on the other side with MSI Drago logo as well. So sa right side joint. Supported siya ng ATX, a uh, micro ATX and mini ITX. So this case uh, looks really nice especially yung front panel niya. Uh, yung dark mirror uh, front panel. Pares lang yung nilambas ko guys yung white version ng Master Box 5. So I'll put link na lang sa description ng video. So for the case pan, sa gagamitin ko ulit yung Master Fan Pro 120 RGB ng uh, Cooler Master. So what cool about this case fan, uh, meron siyang manual switch for RGB, uh, blue LED, and yung red LED. So it comes with the RGB LED controller for fancy LED effects. So gumawa na ako ng demo nung guys. Uh, you can watch na lang uh, dun sa video description. Lalagay ko rin yung link dun. So on this build, everything will match kasi uh, makikita nyo naman na black and red na yung colors. So yung team na gagawin ko is red and black color scheme. It's a Ryzen uh, from AMD, so color red tayo. So now, uh, without further ado, let's start the build.
Tapos na guys, yung build, test boot tayo ngayon. So, so check natin. Hopefully, sana mag-boot. Kinakabahan ako eh, pag nagbibuild ako eh, sana mag-boot. So, check muna natin. Eh, yeah, nag-boot na. So, medyo matagal lang. Mga around, uh, actually guys, 1 minute siya eh. So yeah, uh, mag-install muna ako guys ng Windows. Then, uh, after nito, is mag-ano ako ng ano, uh, montage ng setup. So there you have it guys, ito yung Ryzen PC build. I'm super satisfied sa kadalabasan ng build. I added the MSI Fantech LED strips at to make the case bloody red in the inside. Hindi ko na siya include sa budget, optional lang yun, depende sa inyo kung maglalagay kayo or hindi. But it looks damn awesome in the inside uh, pag maraming LED dun mismo sa loob ng case. Yung Master Fan Pro eliminates yung red lighting. Uh, plus yung motherboard mismo, meron siyang red LED light ups across the board. Kitang kita yung sa audio trace pad. A uh, very nice looking motherboard. And also, I love the position ng Dragon logo in the front panel. Uh, kung magbibuild kayo ng red and black team, uh, you might wanna check this uh, Master Box 5 MSI Dragon Edition uh, from Cooler Master na may red accent. Di open yung rapa ng case na to. Uh, there's enough room for cable management. And also, gusto ko yung uh, feature na freeform a uh, modular system uh, sobrang dali mag-install ng mga components sa case na to yung uh, Ryzen 5 6100 meron ka ng CPU plus uh, may bundle na siya na uh, CPU cooler pairing with the MSI GTX uh, 1060 Gaming X 6GB edition and the MSI Tomahawk B350 Gaming motherboard very solid combination in my opinion yung build na to uh, is enough for me I think it is a pretty well balanced mid-range build uh, for my gaming and editing needs so yun uh, what do you think of this build guys may budget kayo ng 65,000 anong build ba yung gagawin nyo so comment down below na lang before I end this video I wanna give a huge shout out sa mga nag-provide ng mga components si MSI Gaming uh, Cooler Master Philippines and A-Data so without your support guys di mangyayari tong build na to nandito nagtatapos yung uh, PC build uh, sa lahat ng parts list uh, nalagay ko siya sa uh, video description and also guys mag-suggest kayo for my next uh, PC build uh, anong budget pa yung uh, gusto nyo i-build ko so marami na nagko-comment budget build naman daw so check natin yung guys. Hopefully, makakuha tayo ng parts. There you have it. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Ako nga palood sa action. Uh, like the video guys and subscribe to the channel. And see you on my next PC build.